Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 3, and it reads, And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me, even unto this day. For they are impudent, impudent children and stiff-hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Power. And they, whether they will hear, or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them. And thou, son of man, be not afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words, though briars and thorns be with thee, and though thou dwellest among scorpions, be not afraid of their words, nor be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. And thou shalt speak my words unto them, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are most rebellious. But thou, son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house. Open thy mouth and eat that I give thee. And when I looked, behold, a hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein. And when he spread it before me, it was written within and without, and there was written therein lamentations and mournings and woe. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety. To all you sincere Akims, keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regards to people here for a bit, just a quick hit. Regards if they here for a bit, teach the word. They're not going to listen. They're going to be hard-headed. They're going to be stiff-hearted. You see, they're going to come against us. Teach this word. And look, and nobody ain't got to listen. The Lord said, you know what I'm saying? They have rebelled against me. They didn't listen to me. So more, and my phone chimed in. So most definitely, they're not going to listen to you. All hell breaking loose. We, we wanted our people about the uproars. You know what I'm saying? The different protests. Stay away from them. You see? Stay away from all appearance of evil. Repent. Turn back from your wrongful thought. And the word repent means to turn back sorrowful, regretful, remorseful. You got you feel you feel bad. You feel sorry for all, for all your wrongful thoughts, sayings, and doings in this life and our former life. We want our people. The the Lord is judging the people of the earth. And if you want to get judged harshly, then you keep continuing on ignoring this word. But look, look, but you're gonna know that a prophet had been among them. And the Lord said, Don't be afraid of their of their mean mugging. You know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid of their words. Yeah, they're gonna talk ish. They're gonna talk S H I T. They're gonna go talk the most. But at the, but the end all be it all, they're gonna know that a prophet when, they, when the Lord start kicking their ass, and the Lord start putting that squeeze on them, and they start losing everything. You see, they lose their job, you know what I'm saying? They lose their home, you know what I'm saying? They lose their money, they lose that car that they were sleeping in. That's how you know they're sleeping on a cardboard box. Then they're going to know that a private had been among them, man. Let's get it again. Something quick about the head out. Lord willing, get this daily bread. Lord willing, the Lord protect each and every last one of us. Hope for Alex throughout the day. Let us pray. Let us pray more. Don't, you don't want to get caught up in none of this nonsense. You see, straight and narrow, Israel. Straight and narrow, right? Ezekiel chapter 2. Verse 3, and he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, a people before us a place, which represents you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, so-called of Negro and Native Native American Indian descent, right? That's what the Lord sent us to to teach this word, right? But, but we're still prophets unto the nation. We tell our people what it is, and we tell these heathen nations what it is, right? To a rebellious house, they're going to constantly fight against the words of the Lord, right? The same people back in the wilderness, you know what I'm saying? They got deleted. And then make it into the kingdom, you know what I'm saying? The promised land. This is the same people back now. You see? They never listened. They didn't listen to Noah. They didn't listen to uh, Moses, King Moses. Hell, they didn't listen to Lord Yahweh Shai, their own savior. They didn't listen to their own savior. So we know they're not going to listen to us. But the Lord said, go teach this word. 
It says to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even until this day. And you see it. You, you see what our people are into. You see? Look, look at the average Negro, Latino, and Native American Indian. Two terrorists. This, this scripture is talking about them. For they are impudent, they're hard-headed as hell. You know what I'm saying? Stiff-hearted. Impudent children, stiff-hearted. You, you can't tell them nothing. Hell, hard as a brick, man. I do send thee unto them. And thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, and they, whether they were here or whether they were forbear, remember, you got guys saying, Ain't nobody listening to us. But well, the Lord said, Go tell them, regardless if they here, forbear. Well, you, you, you forgot about this scripture, huh? You forgot about this scripture, huh? For they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there had been a prophet among them. And you keep reading on, reading on, reading on. You see? And the Lord said, Look, don't be like that rebellious house. You take heed to it. Don't just be a hearer of the word. Be a doer also. You see? I'm looking at the news now. Two people deleted and head on crash and more counties. Just over and over, over and over, over and over, man. I damn 18, I damn 18 Willow hit them. Because that, that, that look, that judgment going forward. Let's, let's just get this. I'm just flowing in the spirit right quick. Let's just get this right quick. Look, you ain't you ain't gotta listen. That's the thing about it. You do not have to listen, man. All right, come on. You usually like saying gotta listen. Our job is to is to teach. We can't make you listen. Our job is to teach the blessed word. We can't make you listen. The Lord has to put His Spirit on you to listen. Jeremiah chapter four. But it's consequences. It's consequences for not listening. The scripture say, um. He hate those um, feet. Um, they be swift to run into mission. I'm going to see if I can get that too. Um, Jeremiah 4 and 22. Let's get this right quick. Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 22. We must apply the scriptures. It's one thing to know the scriptures. It's another thing to quote the scriptures. But then it's another thing to apply the scriptures. Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 22. For my people, the Hebrew Israelites, that rebellious house is foolish, man. Foolish, blockheads, meatballs, jackasses, straight up foolish. They have not known me, even though they're doing all this cooping and hollering. So if, if um, loving the Lord is wrong, then I don't want to be right. The Lord said, you don't know me. If if you knew me, you would do what I commanded you to do. You see? For, look, look, they are sadist children, should have retarded. Look at, look at the average Israelite. Even, even the ones that know they're Israelite, look at them. Look how they conduct themselves. Just, just retarded, man. You see? They they have they have none understanding, but they act like they're so smart. They are wise to do evil. Is this, is this scripture not um, being fulfilled right about now? Is this scripture right here not jumping off the page? They are wise to do evil. They, they know how to plan those saying schemes, just malicious, just mischief. You see all this damn chaos, all this nonsense. They wise to do evil. They plot on your woman. You see, they know how to bag up drugs. You know what I'm saying that's the majority of our people. Worshiping other gods, you know what I'm saying? When it, when it comes to doing something evil, they, they'll map it out, man. They'll plan it out. They'll set up the right date, you know what I'm saying? Just all, all kind of um, spoilings. You, you just name it, man. But to do good, but to follow the righteous path, that good way, they have no knowledge. And it's a consequence for that. It's consequence for every action. There's a real, little, another another warning. The Lord said, go go warn the children of Israel, regardless if they hear forbear, right? Don't even worry about it. Regardless, this is back in Jeremiah. Regardless if they hear for, matter of fact, not even Jeremiah. I want, um, what is it, Proverbs? Proverbs, the sixth chapter. Proverbs chapter six. Verse 16, and reads, these six things do of the Lord hate. See, you, 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 I thought the Lord was all about love. Yea, seven are an abomination to him. A proud look, that's the majority of our people. A, a lying tongue, that's the majority of our people. Right? And hands that shed innocent blood, that's the majority of our people. And a heart, meaning a mind that devises wicked imaginations. Ain't, ain't that our people? Ain't the scripture jumping out? The Lord said he hates this, right? Look, look feet that be swift in running to mischief. Ain't, ain't the scripture jumping out right about now? The Lord said he hates you, man. He H A T U. If this fits you, if if you're doing this, what the scriptures is saying, then the Lord said he H A T E U, man. You see? Always devising wicked imaginations, man. Feet that ain't never trying to do nothing good. 
I'm going to get my lick back. I'm going to get my lick back. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. They're going to write about me. They gonna, you gonna, you gonna, you gonna, you're going you gonna to know me. You're going to know me. All this BS, man. You see? F feet that be swift into running into mischief. A false witness that speak of lies. You got that going on. And he that sow discord among brothers. And then you got that most definitely going on right about now. But for the hopeful lack, receive it meekness, then graft the word, which is able to save your soul. I want to get this Hosea right quick. This ain't going to be that long. Hosea chapter 4. You Israelites that rejected his word, the Lord's going to reject you. You, 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 don't, you truly don't understand. You don't, you don't understand the seriousness of, the, of taking heed to this word. You, you really don't understand it yet. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 and, and that description say Isaiah um, 8 and 20 and I'm all over the place this morning a Isaiah 8 and 20 if they speak not according to this word it is because there is no light and remember that Israel Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 my people the Hebrew Israelites Negroes Latins and Native Americans are destroyed for the lack of knowledge they got the knowledge of wickedness which is not wisdom the scriptures tell you that the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom you see so they destroy it for the lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. Remember, the Lord sent forth the prophets to give you the knowledge, wisdom, understanding the scriptures that are just able to keep you stable. But you rejected it, though. You rejected it, though. I also will. I also. Reje I will also reject thee. You didn't want to take heed of this word. You rejected this word. The Lord said, I'm going to reject you. You can go to Proverbs, the first chapter. How the Lord said you, you didn't want to um, have the fear of the Lord on you. You rejected this word. I'm going mock, to mock and laugh at your calamities. I also will reject thee. That thou shall be no priest to me. You ain't going to be able to teach nobody anything. You're not going to be able to comfort anybody. When all hell break loose with this, with this comforter, which is his word. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. So you and your children are going to pay. You see? You and your children, it's going to get bad out here, Israel. It, look, look, it's going to get bad out here. You and your children are going to pay for not taking heed. You see? Let's see what else. Like I said before, I'm just flowing in the spirit because it's going to get bad out here. The Lord said, you know what I'm saying? Look, um, it, it's going to get, it's gonna... never seen before, Israel. Never seen before. Times that are coming on the face of the earth, never seen before. I, I, just, I might as well just throw this in here. I might as well just throw this in here. Don't get caught up in the cares. I, I, the Lord had me do a lesson yesterday about people, you know what I'm saying, complaining about all that hell they catching. You see? So, or they can't go to the rest. Cook. Go to the grocery store and get you some food and cook it. Stop complaining about how expensive it is at these damn restaurants. You, you, you don't have to go to the restaurants. All right? You can go to the grocery store, you know what I'm saying, and you can buy some food and you can cook it for a change. How about that? St. Luke chapter 21. St. Luke chapter 21. I'm just hitting the point. Because I'm pressed for time. Let's see. Matter of fact, I read 34. Um, St. Luke chapter 21, verse 34. And take heed to yourselves. Lisa, at any time your hearts, meaning your minds, be overcharged with serving. So we got to constantly examine ourselves, right? Your heart be overcharged with surfing, out here doing too much, you see? And drunkenness, drunk off the philosophies and customs and dogmas. Of these different nations and the cares of this life, trying to trying to trying to keep up with the Smiths and the Joneses, right? The cares of this life, I always worried about what everybody else worried about, right? And so that day come upon you unawares, the day of the Lord. For as a snare, a trap shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth, the, the ones that ain't looking. The ones that ain't watching, watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Race wars, class wars, civil wars. You see, these uproars, war, these wars, this chaos, this violence. You want to be accounted worthy to escape all of it, man. You see, because it's really going down. And the only way you're going to escape it, you know what I'm saying, is taking heed to this word, this blessed word. That's the only way you're going to be escaped. Let's get this. James chapter 1. The Lord willing the elect is edified. That's what we do these lessons for. We don't do these lessons for, for, for we want everybody to watch these lessons. We already know according to the Bible, this word is only for the elect of the nation of Israel. They're the only one that's going to take heed. You see? We ain't trying to gather all Israel. This word is for the elect. James chapter 1, verse 21. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness. You see, turn from your nonsense and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your soul. What part of that don't you understand? 
This this word, we, we know this word ain't for everybody. Matter of fact, let's just get this right quick. Because I'm about to wrap it up. I got I got to get ready to roll. This is um, Wisdom of Solomon. Let's get it right quick. Let's see. Um, let's see. Yeah. As long as they let me click on it. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3, verse 9, it reads, They that put their trust, their faith in him shall understand the truth. See, we understand the truth, all right? You clearly don't understand the truth if you think everybody's supposed to take heed to this word. We clearly understand the truth. This word is only for the elect of the nation of Israel. So no, we're not going to get a large views, large amount of views on our video. No. When we're at the campsite, it's not going to be a thousand people standing in front of us trying to listen to this blessed word. No, man. We understand the truth, right? We understand that this truth is only for that small remnant. They're the only ones going to take heed, right? Look, they're not going to just be hearers of the word. They're going to be doers also, right? Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him, and grace for grace and mercy is to his saints, and he have care for his elect. So the Lord, oh man, come on, man. If our gospel will be here, it is here to them that are lost. Every, this word ain't meant for every Israelite on this side. What do you, I mean, what part of that don't you understand? I mean, that's Bible 101. You learn that coming in. That, that Israel, ain't gonna, we, we, we just read um, Ezekiel chapter 2, that they're rebellious. I said, not going to listen to you because they didn't listen to me. What, what, part of that, you, what part of that didn't you get? Romans chapter 11, verse 7, it reads, What then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for? What, what Israel looking for? The truth. But the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. What part of that didn't you understand? According the Lord blinded them, man. According as it is written, the Most High Yahweh through His only begotten Son Yahweh shot by way of the angels have given them the spirit of slumber, spiritual coma, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear. Until this day, man. All right, until this day. But you didn't read that scripture, though, right? So we're just gonna keep rolling on, rolling on, Lord willing, through the Spirit, teaching this blessed word. If we speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in us. And I got, I got one more, and I'm gonna roll out. Just keep, just keep speaking the words of the Lord, man. Don't even worry about it. So what? We're not getting a whole lot of views. We don't do this thing for no views anyway. So that carnal Israelite saw, said they, they worried about views. You know what I'm saying? You see, we're not worried about no views. We're, we're, we're seeking salvation. You see, we're seeking salvation, man. First Peter chapter four, verse 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of the most high. Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh, which is the words of the Bible. If we got, if we're going to speak, let us speak according to this word. Because if not, there is no light in us, right? Every time we say something, we better be able to back it up with a scripture, right? If any man minister, meaning serve, that's what we're here to do. We're here to serve. Let him do it at, let him do it as of the ability which the most high giveth. That the Most High Yahweh and all things may be glorified through Yahweh Shah Mashiach. You see, we 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 push this word to glorify Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. So let it be. You see. So so if you and the Lord said, um, "Woe to them that do the work of the Lord um, um, deceitfully." You see, what's your true intentions when you push this word? You see. So yeah, I just want to do something quick, man. Through the spirit of your how by Shem he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He or she that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He or she that is filthy, let him be filthy still. He and she, you no know saying that is holy, let him be holy still. He and she that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And behold, my reward, you no know saying it's with me. I would say, behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Everybody ain't going to listen, Israel. Shalom.